This is video number six, connecting your autoresponder. So when somebody buys your product and service, you want to immediately and automatically add them to your email list, right? So first you obviously need an autoresponder system. But before we discuss that, let's take a look at the JVZoo platform and see which ones are compatible and what you need to do to connect them and what information that you need to do just that. Okay, so if we refer back to our edit product details and you go under the autoresponder integration, you can see the ones that are compatible. We have send lane, we have market hero, we have get response, send reach, Imnica mail, and Aweber API. Now, as far as the ones that we recommend and that we have tested and we really like, it's get response and Aweber API. Now, the nice thing about these integrations is all you have to do is pick one and then it'll tell you, okay, to get your API key, do this. What we need to do is get our API key. So what is an API key? An API key is a key that you are given as a user. So everybody has their own API key. Do not share your API key with anybody else because if they know it, you know, they can do a lot of things. To get your API key in GetResponse, click on My Account and then use the GetResponse API key. So if we go over here and we log in and you go up at the top, you click on Account Details, you click that link and then on the left hand side, you're going to see a menu and you click on API key and it'll give you the API key. You take that key and you go back here, you plop that in here, you click on load defaults and basically you'll see a list of all of the lists, list names in your get response account. So all you have to do is choose that list name and that's it. So what I recommend that you do is within get response, you want to create a new campaign for every single one of your products. That way you're going to be able to segment, okay, this person bought my front end offer. All these people bought my one time offer two, or all of these people bought my one time offer three. If you dump everybody on the same list, you're not going to know who bought who. Plus you're going to be able to figure out, okay, these are my premium buyers. Like these people bought, you know, my one time offer one or one time offer four, and you're going to be able to email them. You can email them updates to your product or that one time offer. You can communicate them without having to communicate with everybody else. So essentially it's good to segment your list. So I'm not going to show you how, because it's a long process, but within get response, within a Weber account, you can create new lists. So you have to create the list first, and then the list will actually appear over here when you load defaults. So same with Aweber, if you click on Aweber API, it says you must click this link to connect your account. Once you have walked through and followed the instructions, it's super easy. You click that, you connect it, you're good to go. You're gonna be able to see all the lists right here. So some of these need you to go get the API and some of these you can automatically just connect right away. So it's that easy, but just keep in mind, number one, as a recap, create different lists for each product. And number two, you got to create it over on the autoresponder side first before it's actually going to appear right here. And that's all you need to know for the autoresponder integration. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.